Bad. Loading video. Come on. All right, good. Real survival, where I expect to die many times, because I suck. My hands are a little bit slippery as well, because I put special cream on them. Stupid skin is so bad, man. So I haven't had much practice at Real Survival at all. I played it yesterday. I got killed by the Crimson Head. It wasn't fun, but the fight is more difficult than I expected. I just. I knocked him down first time, which is fine, and then I tried to shoot him on the ground and I missed twice. I thought I was at the right distance and I wasn't. He's a little prick like that. You think you're at the right distance and he's just a little bit too far away. Well, I blame the fixed bloody cameras. Can't quite get very good depth perception with them. I really should pick up that ink ribbon. I'll get it later, it's fine. I like to save it a lot on casual runs, because I, especially on Real Survivor, I tend to die a lot. And then once again, I forget that she's randomly turned around on that scene. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I love how close together his eyes are in this game. He looks like a right buffoon. Okay, now the run actually begins. Let's see how many dom dombies. Yeah, let's see how many dombies we can dodge. How many dombies? I like to pick up this herb because I normally get bitten because I'm rubbish, as I already said. Damn it, game! Why do you have to give me a bloody handgun? It's useless on real survivor. What is the point? It serves no purpose. It can't even kill the dogs. Rubbish. Don't you try and kill the dogs with a handgun on this mold, you're gonna have a very bad. I pick up that one as well and I mix these. And I'll probably have to use it right away by the second zombie. Not this zombie, this zombie's easy. I always bump into that. Okay, now this one's a pain in the backside. Okay, so you want to. Come on, there you go. Run around the right side of him. I made the mistake of trying to run around the left the first time I did this and I, he blocked me and grabbed me again. Not fun. Okay, so that's good. We got a good first dodge. I wish I could save state this game. I'd save state it so much on this real survival mode. I'm like, right, that's a save state. You could save state Resident Evil. Oh, how easy would it be then? You'd just be like, oh, I died. Better start again five seconds earlier. I'd love that. I love save stating. Okay, this one's being a dick. Right in the bloody way, look. I always get bitten by him on the way up. I always forget what, how to do it. You're supposed to stick to the right-hand side of the area of this little bit here. You stick to the right-hand side, then when you come back up, you should be easier to dodge. 
but I always forget momentarily until I've already ran past him. I need to get into the habit of doing that. And my slippery hand is really annoying as well. So that's probably going to make it harder to dodge. Damn cream, man. Damn skin. Okay, let's do that. I must remember to pick up the shotgun as well. Really the only way you can take out the dogs on real survivor, unless you're really skilled with a handgun. I think I've seen it done on PC, but it looked like he was using some sort of turbo controller or something. He was like bang 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 bang. It was stupid. Okay, this is obviously in a good position. Glad he didn't grab twice because I would have been done there. I forgot to run around the right side of him. Wow, that's the first time I've ever got past that zombie without getting bit. Okay, next. For once I actually remembered to run down the stairs and not up. Normally I hesitate a bit here because I can't quite remember what to do. But I remember, I've done it enough now that I remember. That's really the thing about this game. Like The more you play it, the better you get because you just remember stuff. It just ends up becoming second nature to you. The best speedrunners just, they know it. They don't even have to think, they just know, right, I run here, I put this here, I use this here. I always forget to push that twice, that's another thing I got about. I don't because it's real survivor and I'm playing casually. It probably will come in handy at some point. It's a bit of a time waste, but... I do wish I'd grab those damn ink ribbons. I have to wait to get them later now. There doesn't seem to be... They seem to be the only ink ribbons I've come across so far. The ones in the dining room. Does Real Survivor only have three ink ribbons in the whole game? That'd be pretty nuts. Pretty hardcore. I don't need to grab the herb now because I've already got one and I didn't get bit. Normally I have to get a green and a red there. It's nice not to have to do that. That saves me some time. That's another thing about um, how it actually saves you time if you don't get bit. Is that you don't have to waste time grabbing herbs. You think, oh well, I lost time because of the time spent getting bit. But then you have to go and heal yourself. It takes even more time. So you can save yourself a good probably five minutes not being bitten. Okay, there's a, oh, I was looking in the wrong corner. My eyes completely were not fixed on that knife then. Okay, grab the shotgun. Trust me, it is handy. I don't know if you do... I haven't actually watched a Jill Real Survivor speedrun. I don't think I have. I've definitely watched a Chris one, but I can't remember watching a Jill one. I must have. So you check both doors, don't you? And then it does the cutscene. Make sure you run back, obviously. This is also important because not only will you get the shotgun, but you'll get the acid rounds later on. They are kind of annoying in that they take up space I don't really want taking up at the time. There's probably a better route to take so that they're not so in the way. It's fine, I'll just... If I have to, I'll take a small detour. I should be near the chest at the time anyway. Like, going in that general direction. Now, here yeah, I think I want to go in the chest on the right, don't I? Put my handgun away. And... Do I need to put anything else away? Not the shotgun. Need the shotgun. I know I definitely put the handgun away. See, no ink ribbons in here. Don't put the sword gear away. Just looks like I put the handgun in here. Okay. Need... Do I? No, I don't need the knife. What am I on about? Oh. No, I pick up the knife on the way out of here. Remember to come back here and pick up the knife when I'm coming back through this area on the way to get the final mask. Yeah, that's right. This zombie's a dick. I've managed to dodge him every time so far. And again, yes. He's not so bad because the corner sort of blocks him a bit. Makes it a bit easier. And this one around the corner here is easy too. Because he's always on the right hand side and you can just la la la. Not going to get near me. He's a bit more difficult on the way back out. I'm doing so good right now it can't last. I'll probably get killed by regular zombies. Not even, not even poisoned by yawn. I'll just get killed by zombies. 
Yawn's a dick. If he poisons you, I've got to reset. Poisons me. I've got to reset the whole game if he poisons me because it just it's such a pain in the ass to go get the serum. Right hand side. This one's gay. Where is he? He's right bloody there, right as I run around. Okay, I'm glad I took my time there. Sometimes taking your time is bad. Uh, he can actually get you because you took you were too slow, but it happened to save me there. Okay, that was that was too lucky. I can't be that lucky anymore. And here's Barry filling my slot up with an unnecessary item. Well, it's not unnecessary, but it's annoying. And somehow he's got in and out of the door, but I still need to get the key for it. This is silly. But that's just what this game's like. You get people in places they should and stuff. The good thing about Real Survivor is you don't have the one dangerous zombie running around. I appreciate that. That would have made it a bit, maybe, well not overkill because it's quite easy to dodge in most places, but it would be a bit more annoying. I don't understand how a zombie gets in this room after you kill the dogs. Like, where does he come from? Okay, now this, I'm not sure how to, the best way to do it. Is it better to stand here and shoot the dog? Or is it better to stand around the corner by the herbs? Dog though, he's annoying. I hope I can get out before he chases me. Come on, Jill, run! Run, Jill, run! Yes! I hope I've selected yes and not no. I was pushing right on my D-pad by accident then. I'm near a chest anyway if I did that by accident. It's no big deal. I pushed yes by mistake. My finger was... I was so busy running towards the door, I still had my finger held down on the D-pad. So now I've got to take an unnecessary detour that I wouldn't have had to take otherwise. I think. Yeah. Well, I need to put the grenade rounds away anyway. And the shotgun. Uh, the chest, it's probably a good idea to go to the chest at this point. You can sh headshot this guy. You can't headshot the guy around the other corner, I don't think. Or this one here. Actually, he's the one that ends up around this corner. So if I just be quick and try and get past him. Puking on me. I just about dodged that. Okay. I could go get the mask while I'm here, but then... Um, what would be the point of that? I'm going to come back here later anyway. Uh, what do I need to put away? Well, that we never need to use again. Uh, we're done with the sword key. I think we are, aren't we? Yeah. And we're done with the shotgun. Yeah. I'm not going to put the grenade rounds away, I don't think. Well, actually, I will, because I will be back here later anyway. Uh, uh, I'll put them away for a minute. See, the boxes aren't linked, so it's you've got to be really careful what you're putting away. I could put that away as well. There's no point, because I've got to take it back out again. I'm just trying to think. If I put the grenade rounds... The, those acid rounds are only good for the second yawn fight. Possibly plant 42. I'm just trying to remember they're there anyway in case I really need them later on. Pretty certain they're only good for one fight. Wow. Okay. You can stand there if you like. That's fine. God. This is casual, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll keep telling myself that. It's casual. You don't need to keep speed running everywhere. Okay, so I need to do the one in the fourth slot I need to put back. Make sure you watch where that key goes. Because if you get it wrong, you end up running all the way across the mansion. Like I've done before. Very embarrassing. I'm sorry if any speedrunners happen to see in that chest on Real Survivor. I haven't watched a run detail enough. I need to watch one and study it and make sure I carefully see where everything goes and when. I, ideally I should have done that, but well, I'm not speedrunning so it doesn't matter too much. 
Ah, oh, he got me. Uh, he got me yesterday. So, ah, oh, there's still this zombie around here, isn't there? Come on, don't be a dick. Okay. I'm kind of glad he knocked that one over because I think getting slapped by the Grimson is a bit better than getting munched on by a zombie. There wasn't much I could have done there, to be honest. I'm still on fight. Yeah, definitely better to get slapped by a Grimson head. I think that's the same as getting bitten by a shark, maybe, or a snake. Maybe a little bit more. It's not that much damage anyway. Now we need to get the grenade launcher, don't we? Or do we? Yes, we do. <sighs> really needed a herb here yesterday. I was hoping there'd still be one, but not on this mark. I'm gonna think I'm fine now. If I do see one herb, I'll probably just use it just because I just got slapped. And my next hit will put me into red caution. Probably danger, actually. Come on, pick up the gun. Don't be... You have to stand next to the gun like that to pick it up. Silly. My throat's going to be so bad after this. Okay, now we go do the poison run. I can put, no, I'm not going to put my grenade launcher away. I need it for the Plant 42 fight. I must remember that. It's tempting to put it away because you think, oh, I don't need that. You need it for um, a crimson head, you need it for Plant 42. Always keep the grenade launcher around. Heck, I can't think of any reason to put it away. Maybe temporarily. You pretty much need it for a lot of the fights. You need it for the Crimson Head, you need it for Plant 42, uh, the Yawn fight a second time. So handy. And the Tyrant, of course. And the little Chimera bugger who stands right next to the machine in the lab that you need to get the... God, you need it so much. I need to make sure I use my ammo carefully. I'm definitely going to try and save it before Plant 42 because you can end up wasting so much ammo in that fight. Assuming I get that far, I'll probably be killed by the Crimson Head. Again, another thing I need to make sure I save before I fight. And Yawn as well. I need to save it before Yawn, save it before Crimson. So much saving, not enough ink ribbons. Where am I going? Downstairs, yeah. Good, the zombie's there. I prefer it when he's there. Ah, uh, now we're going to have that zombie blocking the doorway, but that's not such a problem. Okay, do we need to put anything away? No. Maybe I could have taken out the acid rounds, but meh. I don't think the Crimson Head takes six shots. Unless I completely miss. This is annoying. That's why it's annoying. That's a hard one to dodge. I usually get past him, but this time he just happened to be in just the wrong spot. Oh, I've got to remember to take a herb around here as well, because I did get clipped, didn't I? And it's, it's important to stay in tip-top condition whenever you can, especially on a casual run. Can't work out if that's my computer making all that racket or the game. I think my computer suddenly got very loud. That's not good. Oh, actually, it might be in that room. Okay, fair enough. That was faster than yesterday, that's good. Shush PC! 
loud just because you're uploading. It's because it's actually also saving onto my second hard drive. Well, my external hard drive. I like to keep a backup copy of footage I make. It's easier to put onto YouTube that way as well. Twitch is... Getting, taking a video from Twitch and putting it on YouTube is still a bit of a pain. I wish they'd sort that out. And how we didn't split the video into different parts. Like a ninny. Do you know, I don't think you get the fire rounds in this one like you do in uh, the other difficulties. That's kind of... makes Plant 42 a bit tricky. You must get them somewhere. I haven't paid attention to how to defeat that on this difficulty. I know you use the little gun, but I can't remember what else you use. Surely that and the grenade launcher should be enough, right? As long as I don't miss. Okay, this zombie's a pain as well. Try and pull him. There you go. Okay, thank you. And then the worst one in the game, in this stupid closet. Okay, where's he gonna go? Okay, let's just... Oh! He wasn't aggressive enough. I wanted him to be more aggressive than that. Yeah, he missed. Okay, he's there. Okay, get off the chair, thank you. Okay, we got a bit lucky that we happened to have two defense items there. I think I've run out now, so I've got to try not to get bitten anymore. Fat chance, eh? Right, so we're going to the dining room, so be able to save it before I do you on the snake. Does mean I'll have an unwanted ink ribbon in my spot, but hey, at least if I get poisoned, we got a quick restart. I won't have to do the whole thing again, which I don't really feel like doing anyway. Oh, we're going the wrong way. No, we're not. I was thinking it was after I fought the snake for a second. I was like, I haven't fought a snake yet. Oh, where am I going? Emblem. Oh, I'm also, uh, I don't pick up the ink ribbon just yet. <laughs> I do it on the way out. So I can pick up the emblem and the other thing for the piano. Oh, final thing you can buy. Okay, this zombie here sucks really bad. He's not as bad as the one in the ward in the closet, but he's he's pretty annoying. He I don't think he grabs, I think he's just the Oh he does, okay. He can do a double grab, which is bad. I don't need to worry about him again anyway. Just kind of past that. I'm doing okay at the moment, ain't I? I haven't really... I've only been a little bit hurt. Oh, I didn't need to push that twice. Stupid. Not paying attention. Don't need to combine that there. Come on. I'm not speed running. Why do I care? Because I'm used to speed running. That's why. I'm not used to casually playing this game, so I tend to rush it a bit. So I suppose it's good. It's good practice. Take that. Unskippable cutscene of a pointless door closing. Whoops, pushing start by mistake. Getting to the point that's it it's not really RNG the snake. You can judging where his position is, you can avoid him. If you have enough experience, you know where he's gonna dart, you know where to run on the wrong side of him then. I just hope I have just enough. I might have to waste a herb if I don't have enough spaces for four masks. Let's see, this is really easy.
Make sure I select no. My X button's getting a bit sticky. Okay, pick that up. Right, let's see. That key will discard, meaning that it will be replaced by a mask. Then I get the other third mask, and that key will discard. I've got enough space for an ink ribbon. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. I can save it here. Not a problem. Okay. Uh, item box below the stairs. Just in... No, no, don't overwrite that. Sorry. That's another file where I'm in exactly the same place as I am now. Which is a different one. That's not for streaming. That's my private. That's my practice file. Call it that. Even though technically I'm practicing this as well. All right. Hopefully these aren't the only ink ribbons you get in the entire run. Because I'm going to flip and need them. Okay, you're on the snake. What a douchebag that snake is. If he slightly clips you, you will be poisoned. And the only cure for that poison is the serum. You can't use blue herbs. That's why he's a dick. That's why he kills runs. You can't just run to the residence. The blue herbs will not do. I'm kind of looking forward to finishing this so I can watch a film. I want to see that film start up. I've got it on my... I've got it open in another tab and I haven't watched it yet. It's... Looked really interesting. Skip. Okay, run to the right. That's done. It work. I got bit. Bollocks. That's a run killer, I think. Oh my god. I can't believe that. I managed to run past on that right side yesterday, but this time he blocked me. Ah, oh, that's really unfair. I might just reset and load again. That's... No one's watching anyway, is I'm definitely poisoned. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, what... How do I reset? That's why we save it, ladies and gentlemen. Because that snake is a dick and sometimes he lets you run past on his right hand side and sometimes he doesn't. And I should have seen that I couldn't scrape through that gap, but I managed it yesterday and I thought, well... But if I try to run across diagonally from him, he tends to get me as well. So he's a bit... He is a bit RNG. Sometimes he misses and sometimes... I think it might depend on how fast I can run as well. I'm going to try and hold down like the run in the cutscene. So that's, well, let's call that death number one because it is pretty much a death. I'm not running to the serum room. Come on. I know it's not a speed run, but I'm still not going to run all the way to the other side of the mansion. Pick up a serum, run all the way back. Come on, give me a break, man. It's quicker just to reset. Because then I'd have to use a herb as well. Because by the time... Oh, I'd have to try and dodge zombies as well. Then dodge zombies on the way back. Uh, no, this is faster. Good old-fashioned reset. Well, not old-fashioned reset, because on the old, in the old days you had to literally push reset on the machine. All right, snake. Uh, try and get this right. This, this is going to take some practice, I think. Okay, run to the right. Clip the wall. He still bit me. He still bit me. Ah! Whoops. Oh my god! You can't run right, you can't run left. And this sort of thing's going to happen on the crimson head as well, by the way. 
Sorry this is going to take me a while. I knew I'd have trouble. He's just a dick like that, you know? Perhaps if I didn't clip on the wall then, maybe I would have got past him. Alright, so I'll try doing that again and not clipping on the wall. That might have helped. Not that anyone's even watching anyway. Because I've got no friends. <laughs> I'm going to really lose my patience with it. Especially if I do this and then die on the crimson head as well. I was going to be like... Ugh. I did actually manage this yesterday. I managed not to get bitten. And then a crimson head killed me. I, was, I almost threw my control there. I was so angry. And my throat's starting to hurt as well. At least I don't need a pee. That's the worst when you're speedrunning and you need a pee. I mean, what can you do? Alright, snake. Don't click. Yes! Yes, that's good. That's good. That was, what, was the third attempt? Okay. Hopefully he doesn't bite us on the way round. Shut up, you. I did it! Now I just gotta not get hit by a zombie on the way to the next room. Which is. That guy dies, and even if you shoot the snake, that guy still dies with Jill. He's pointless. I can't believe that took me three attempts. What's the Crimson Head gonna take? Okay, where's this zombie here? He's right around the corner. That one always seems to be right around the corner. I don't like him. Okay. Okay. Right now I'm thinking, do I need to put anything in that box? Or take anything out of it? I don't believe so. I think I think I can discard the key. Oh, I do need to put the lighter away. My bad. I think that's the only thing I need to go in the room for. Lighter. Oh, I need to pick up the knife as well, don't I? Or do I? The hell? The, I can't... Did I... Why won't that... Ah. That was unfortunate. I'm glad the zombie didn't get me. I couldn't get through that door. There was a zombie blocking on the other side. Means it's not up here now. Okay, use that. Still a zombie down here you gotta be careful of. Uh, there's a note saying Barry put some stuff in here, but he didn't. Not on this mile. I would like to save it. I made the mistake of not saving it yesterday and the crimson kicked my ass. Right. What do we need to put away? Not that, that disappears anyway. Uh, we'll do the ink ribbon once we... Lighter is about it. Do we need to take the knife? Uh, we do need it for the tarantula, but that's the only thing. When can I... When do I come back here? No, I don't need it just yet. Okay, I'm good. I am saving it again, because this thing's a pain in the backside. I can probably put my ink ribbons away now because the only other thing that's going to have a chance of killing me is the plant 42. I'm pretty sure I get more by then. Hopefully so. I don't want to kill the crimson head and then... Well, at least a Trevor will probably kill me in a little hut. 
<laughs> I won't be able to dodge her and she'll kill me in one hit. We'll see, we'll see. But I did really want to save after the snake and before the crimson head. I'm very glad I did. Yes, discard the piece of crap key. I wonder how much time saving takes out of a run. Probably quite a bit. You have to get the ink ribbons in and out, in and out all the time, don't you? And then you, have to, yeah, yeah. It's probably at least ten minutes, depending on how many times you save, of course. Okay. Okay, hopefully no deafs here. <laughs> well, I, I think as long as I stand closer to him this time I should be fine. I think the last time the problem was that I was just too far away when he was on the floor. I was using a first aid spray. I had... I used way more herbs in that run. Salmon. I just, I just got bit so much more and I went through so many more herbs. But this has been quite, apart from the snake, it's been pretty decent. So I'm pleased with that. Being able to save like this is great for practice as well. Oh, I should have equipped my gun. Oh, I can do that now, it's not. Why does she turn around all surprised? Like, what could possibly be in this coffin over here? So this is probably the. Uh, I think this and this and Plant Forty Two are probably the most difficult fights on Real Survivor. Because you just can't. Look. Okay, good. Now make sure I'm stood right bloody next to him this time. Three shots. Is that all it takes? All right, good. That's good. Maybe I didn't need to save after all. So he's a lot easier as long as I remember to... So he w I would have done that yesterday if I just stood a little bit closer. Man. I wasted an ink ribbon there. I probably could have carried one with me as well. I'm concerned that there isn't an ink ribbon in the residence and that one I've got left is the only one in the whole game. That's a scary thought. If I'd known how easy that was, I wouldn't have saved it just now. I would have kept those two ink ribbons. Not the end of the world. Okay, zombie, what are you doing? Thank you. I really got the hang of that. When I first started playing this game, like on normal and hard, I just could not figure that out at all. It's a lot easier now for some reason. Hmm, now I'm thinking, do I want to put my grenade launch? No, I don't. I need the grenade launch for the bloody resonance. What am I on about? That there, I need that. I'm glad that's there. And I want no shotgun shells. Oh, but I've left a shotgun behind, haven't I? I should have picked that up. But I couldn't remember where it bloody was. Yeah, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I can do this Plant 42 without a shotgun. Easily. <laughs> Three grenade rounds and no shotgun. Pfft, piece of cake. I could be in serious trouble actually. I haven't got a knife. I haven't got... I probably won't find any more grenade rounds actually. I'm probably going about this completely wrong. I probably need to backtrack just to pick up the shotgun. Which is in the wrong bloody box by the way, let me tell you that. Ah, damn.
should have grabbed the... If I'd known I'd have so much room after the crimson, I wasn't thinking. After that, you can pretty much carry whatever you like for the rest of the game. Till you come back from the residence. Then you have to put your crank away. No, you don't. I'm thinking of Chris. No, you can keep everything in your... I should have taken a shotgun. What am I thinking? Maybe I'll run back and get that before I go to the residence. I really think... For the Plant 42, I think... I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I don't want to run all the way to there and then have to run all the way back because I don't have enough ammo to kill it. I, I, really, I know it takes like four flame rounds, or maybe five. Flame rounds because this is hard mode and they don't just throw them at you like they do in the other mods. Oh, I'd really like some though. That'd make the next fight. It'd mean I wouldn't need a shotgun, basically. Heck, maybe I don't. It says no ink ribbons there, by the way, is there? No, just a photograph. I could blah 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 if I had a blah blah blah. So one of the chests seemed to have a first aid spray and a key in it. Does none of the others have secret stuff in them? No. Okay, I was just curious. No, there's no secret stuff. I thought that was a bit of a waste of time. Oh man, if I don't have the ammo for this, I'm in big trouble. I might need to backtrack a little bit and pick up that shotgun. It's not the end of the world, I'm getting better at dodging zombies. It's the one in the little gap on the way back that I'm a bit concerned about. And I can't remember 100% where I left the shotgun. If it's in the room under the stairs with the broken handle door, then that'd be good. But I think I put it in the poison room, didn't I? Yeah, because I went down and... Oh, did I? Okay, Lisa Trevor. Thank you. Oh, wait for her to drop her hands. That was quite good, actually. I don't normally get past it. I'm having really good luck after that snake fight. Apart from not bringing a shotgun, which I don't even know if I need. This is where it could all go wrong for me. Just because I left that behind. I don't know. Do I need it? Pretty sure I do. I don't think I've got much other ammo. I've got three grenade rounds. I do have acid rounds, but I don't think they're any good against the plant. Plus, they're also in the same item box, aren't they? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Do you know what? I'm going to take a dangerous backtrack and I'm going to go get it. It would take about 10 minutes out of my run, or more. But I'm pretty... My gut says I need the shotgun. Unless I just do V-Jolt, but I don't know how to do V-Jolt. I don't even know the code for the damn door. Anyway, V-Jolt's for pussies. Run of you using V-Jolt. Okay. So I might as well pick them up while I'm here. I don't need them anyway. Definitely need them. I've only got like a couple of shots on my shotgun there. This is a risky move, which I probably shouldn't be doing. Probably completely unnecessary. I'll probably kill the bloody plant. And there's probably flame rounds in the residence for all I know. Okay, there's a dog there. He's all right. This is the next. This is the only bit I'm worried about. Dodging this zombie through here. Is he? He's not in there. Okay, good. I'll tell you what, if I put that shotgun in the room under the stairs, not this one I think it's in, but I might as well just reset if it's in there, mightn't I? Because it's... Yeah, if the shotgun's not in this chest, I think it is. I'm just going to reset, because I saved in that room anyway. Which means I'll have to fight the Crimson Head again. It sucks, but... So I think it's safe to say this isn't a world record. <laughs> uh, casual runs. I 
I think I'll remember for if I ever tried to do a speed run of this. I think I will remember to bring out the shotgun or just not put it away ever. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's down here. Oh, hello zombie. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? You're facing the wrong way. Good. Please, please, please be in here. Yeah, the, the acid drums are in here as well. I should pick them up too. I know I, I know I definitely put them. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Do I need anything else by any chance? No, there's a nice first aid spray in there though. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. I'm keeping them as they are. They're just for spares. Alright, good. Now we got to get all the way bloody back. It's the fastest way back. It's up the stairs, isn't it? And around the back. Yeah. Where are you? No way! Come on! Ah, uh, I wanted to save that for the one in the book room. Ah! Uh, what was the hell kind of collision detection was that? You see how far away from me he was? He shouldn't have been able to grab me there. Jerk. Alright, long journey back. Uh, I don't think there's many poison cures for those annoying poisonous snakes I can never seem to dodge as well. If I get poisoned by them, I might be a bit worried. Oh, I still need way more practice with Plat 42 as well, another reason I want to see. I just can't quite get the strat right. I think I've still got to dodge this stupid zombie again as well, and I don't have a bloody... Okay, where are you? Okay, no, don't turn around, Jill! Ah, why did you spin? You silly cow, you had to spin, didn't you? Oh, for flipping heck, man. Normally spinning around like that's very handy, but just then it caused me a whole host of problems. Yeah, my luck's just gone out the window. I'm going to pick up that first aid spray now. Bloody hell. Stupid freaking spin. Pick it up. My throat hurts. Hmm. Yada yada yada. If my reactions were quicker, I would have just ran out the door and back in again, but I'm an idiot. Key, small gun, yeah, we've got enough room. Oh and book as well actually. So we might need to, what do we need to put away in the box? Crank. Do we need to put the crank in there? No, you don't want to put the crank in there. No. Oh, you pick it back out of the way out, yeah. Okay, yeah. Hopefully there's some ink in the residence. Should be really lovely. I'd love for there to be some ink ribbon somewhere. Because by gum, I'm going to need them for this fight. No flame rounds on plant 42. Flipping it. So just put the uh, crank away temporarily. Is it here? I don't want to 
want to save it just yet. And I don't want to save it in here either. Yes, yes, lovely, lovely, lovely ink ribbon. Mmm, tasty. Okay. What do we need to put away? The crank and... Well, the first aid spray, really. Hang on, key, book. Ah. We need a room for the small gun. Ah. Uh, um, I might have to put the shotgun shells away. That would give me enough room just. Yeah. So if I run out of shotgun shells, I'm screwed. Oh, I don't want to use acid rounds to allow. I want to use a small gun, fire off the rest of them, then use the shotgun. That's what I want to do. I think. <laughs> Hopefully that works alright. Well, we'll know because we'll save it right before the fight. Ah, oh, good. That's still there as well. Ah, uh, I'm gonna. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Because of those snakes, are such dicks. I'm gonna take that and put it back in the box. I really like having that on the way back because those snakes are so annoying. They always poison me. If I dodge them, great. I'll put it in a box under the stairs and I'll save it for when I come back later. I'll just quickly take another detour. This is not what you do on a sp You just ignore that box there. I just picked up. I'm taking it on the way back. Very handy in case you're not very good at dodging the snakes and you get poisoned like I do every bloody time. And I'm not very good at getting this bloody thing off either actually, come to think of it. I don't know how people manage to shove that off so quick. I don't get it. I wiggle the D-pad, I mask square. What, what button am I supposed to press there? Come on. What is it? It doesn't even say in the controls. It doesn't say break loose. Mash this. I can't find it anywhere on the internet. People just say, oh, just mash. Mash what? Mash all the buttons? One button? Left, right? What am I mashing then? Oh, I need to go in here. Don't I? No, nope, wrong room. That's the shark room. I don't need to go in there. I was thinking this was the gun room, but it's not. That's on the way back. I'm probably going to be on yellow caution after we're up running past this little tentacle dickhead. You know what? I should have friggin' um, just pushed the box if I'm not speed running. I would have saved myself getting damaged. I'm a dinny, you know. Just mash everything! Get off! Yeah, yellow caution. Right, so in here we get... Where is it? There it is. Pick it up. I know what it is. One shot, I have to aim properly or I'm in trouble. I might not have enough ammo if I don't shoot, if I don't hit the thing with that. A sensible person would use VJOL, but that's not me. I'm not here to do the sensible thing, I'm here to do the fun thing. Hmm. 
Well, I've got a first aid very soon. Red caution. Uh, I was hoping I'd keep that first aid spray for the boss. The end of the world. Oh, this thing's probably going to grab me as well. I'm, if I get killed before the snake fight, then I quit. I'm done. Ah, oh, this guy. There's no room to sneak past him there. Okay. Just push past him there. I'm glad he didn't get me. Alright, now I've got to dodge the shark without cocking it up. Severe win three two. I reckon my estimated time for this will be above three hours. Don't think it'd be as high as five. You never know. The amount of times I've died. I'm doing okay. A few unfortunate deaths, but you know, it's hard, isn't it? Oh, that green herb's there. That'll go well with my red later. I'm gonna pick that up. I need that for the snake, I really do. Okay, I'm not gonna try the normal speed strat I do here because I normally get bit whenever I try that and I'm not. I'm just gonna cling onto this wall. Bonk on the wall and for some reason they run away. Yeah, I normally run across that platform there. It's a bit faster. Come on, Jill. Get to the door. Hopefully there's still a red herb in the B room. That I can mix my red herb with. What's the code? One. Yeah. Emergency. Emergency. Time it goes down really fast on hard, I've noticed. All doors, all doors to achieve maximum safety. I gotta hope I don't bonk on that damn chair on the way around. Right. One. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Silly shark. Oh, I just ran around the rock long way. Okay. I didn't bonk on the chair, I bonked on the ladder. It's fine. Oh. You know you're doing it slow when you go about 50. Alright, alright, alright. Let's not cock this up because it's run over, it's stream over if I can't die here because I can't be bothered to do the whole thing again from the last place I saved which I believe was just 
before the crimson head, was it? Where am I going? There's no ammo there, is there? No, not on this map. There's magnum ammo there, but you never need that. Barry's gun has more than enough ammo in it. Now, I haven't messed this up once yet. It seems pretty straightforward. But knowing my luck, this will be the day, won't it? This will be the damn day. How is my computer being so bloody loud? I've got to practice doing this anyway because... Uh, I'll be doing it on a speed run, so it's good to get the practice doing it while I can. don't want to get into the habit of electrocuting the shark. It's like 20, 30 seconds, something like that it takes to electrocute, and it's just annoying. Anyway, that's easy enough to do. Just don't dawdle when you jump off the ledge. Yeah, I haven't seen any flame rounds so far. Maybe they're well hidden. That's why you pick up the little gun. It's as powerful as one magnum round. Not Barry's magnum though. The wind crest. God, I wish it was as good. If it was as good as Barry's magnum, I wouldn't need to worry about bloody my grenade launcher or anything. It's a bit like bang. Okay, this zombie's still here, remember? And he's just as annoying as ever, so... Come on, come on! No, oh, he went to turn, you see that? He went to turn and then he changed his mind. How glitchy was that? Look, I still can't get past him. I'm glad he fell over. Flipping heck. What an annoying... I wouldn't have got past him because he was completely blocking the corridor. I'm not picking up the red herb until I... Get rid of those bees. If the red herb's even in here on hard. I know there's two on easy. Shut up, bees. Just about got enough room for that. Bees seem more dangerous with Chris. They seem more likely to chase you. Fat ass. Jill's got a fat ass. Let's see, is there any red herbs? At the end? I don't think there is at the end. I might be in front of the door. I think I saw it then at the corner of my eye. I was running too fast. So on easy, there's a red herb here. Don't know why. I don't know why there's two red herbs. I don't even think you can mix two reds together. So I don't know why they put two reds there. Oh, I need to use this key before I pick that up. Yes, discard it. Yes, pick this up. Yes, mix it. Plant 42 doesn't actually do that much damage. But it can do... It can hit you a lot. That's the thing. You can do lots of little hits. I wonder what's in there. There's normally ink ribbons over here, but doesn't seem to be any on hard. They're normally on that coat rack. Not a big deal because I have... I'm going to save it after I do the book. I don't know how anyone ever gets this puzzle wrong, it's well easy. Whoopsie! That was just me pushing the button by mistake. Because I got sticky X button. 
Okay, now we definitely want to save it because I'm not used to playing this, fighting this thing on hard mode. Oh, my throat is killing me. I really need a drink. Okay, how many? Including the one I put away in the other box, that leaves still another three. That's good. Oh, what weapon do we want to equip? Grenade launcher? No. That. Okay. I think my throat will be fine for the next, whenever we die next. I think next death I will stop the stream. Okay, now how the heck do you do this with this gun? So you run over, you run really. Did I get it? I don't even know if I got it. I don't know. I don't know if I hit the thing. Ah, uh, it looks like I was aimed slightly away from it. That's not good. Oh, I don't know actually. I only fired one shot then and it seemed to... Oh, I think I might have actually hit it. Oh, I'm out of ammo there. Not good. I'm also on caution. Not really want to use the acid ammo. Oopsie daisy. Cow. Red caution. Careful, careful. Come on, open. Damn it. Done it. I've done it. That wasn't so bad. How much health am I on? I'm on fine as well. It's just the saves in space. That probably wasn't the way you're supposed to do it. You're probably supposed to save your grenade ammo, but I don't care. I killed Plant 42 on hard without an infinite ammo rocket launcher. Okay, so obviously we can put that bloody gun away. We take our crank back out. I'm pleased with myself, by the way. I don't know if I should save it again. I am kind of... I'm not sick of the game, but my throat hurts and I want it to film. Uh... I'm not sure about ink ribbons numbers. I mean, if I oops, if I save it now, that leaves me with two ink ribbons, right? Yes, one here and one in the other box, which I'll combine. Two ink ribbons. There are probably more ink ribbons later. I'll be. I think I'll be okay. I like to save it before and after tough bosses. Since I, I don't want to die on them, I don't want to die and have to fight them again. Okay. Oh, I should get my stuff and then save it. Uh, shotgun we don't need anymore, I don't believe. I think that's it for the shotgun. Do we have anything else that we need? Because we might very likely get poisoned on the way back by those dumb snakes. Did I remember the crank? I've got to double check after I saved it here. I think that's it for this, for a minute. My throat really hurts. We didn't even remember the crank, we just saved it without the damn crank. Can you believe that? Alright. I have to remember probably not going to remember to go in the chest and get the crank out. I hope I do. I hope I, I must make a note of that. Go back in chest when you load the game. Alright, so... Uh, I'm going to stop there. My freaking throat, man. <laughs>